Welcome to Easy Biology. Now, we have studied about anaerobic respiration, so we need to know the uses of anaerobic respiration. So, this is economically important as many of our foods are produced by microorganisms respiring anaerobically. So that's why anaerobic respiration is very important. For example, yeast is used to make alcoholic drinks. When yeast cells are reproducing rapidly during beer or wine production, the oxygen is used up and the yeast has to automatically switch to anaerobic respiration to ensure it can survive. And in case of anaerobic respiration, two products are produced, ethanol and carbon dioxide. Yeast can also be used to produce bread. Yeast respires using glucose in the sugar that was added to the dough and bubbles of carbon dioxide make the bread rise. The alcohol that's produced evaporates as the bread is baked. So, to make the bread, yeast has to respire anaerobically. And what does it use? It uses the sugar that was added to the dough. Dough is basically made up of wheat and it is used to make bread. So, these bubbles of carbon dioxide make this bread rise and give it a proper shape and eventually alcohol evaporates from it. Anaerobic respiration also happens in plant cells and some microorganisms as we have just discussed. It's like anaerobic respiration in yeast is used during brewing, brewing refers to making wine or bread making. So as you can see here in anaerobic respiration in yeast, glucose is broken down to ethanol which is an alcohol and carbon dioxide. This is their word equation. For chemical equation, refer here. In this case, C6H12O6 represents glucose. C2H5OH is ethanol. So there are two molecules of ethanol. In the same way, two molecules of carbon dioxide. Ethanol is the alcohol found in alcoholic drinks like beer and wine and bread making bubbles of carbon dioxide expand to make the dough rise. Some plants and some fungi, fungi is another microorganism such as yeast can respire anaerobically. It's preferable to release less energy but remain alive because as it does not have oxygen so it can survive on anaerobic respiration. Glucose in the yeast is converted to carbon dioxide and ethanol that we refer as alcohol, as we have just seen in the previous slide. And this anaerobic respiration occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. That's all about anaerobic respiration and its uses. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.